first stop of the Freestyle King live tour. Okay, then we got some double back flips, front flips, some gnarly tricks going down at this stop. And we just get into Unleashed. Uh, we actually have new ramps here. So this is like a different design of a ramp. We usually jump the nine meter radius. These are eight, eight and a half meter. They've got a little bit more pop. They feel great. So without further ado, and did it and then like came out and his bike was underneath him so he did the full double and he's like ran like this on his bike like, crank, crank arm oh, right. oh. and i rolled off the bag and luke run around the back of the bag and i, I thought i was holding my eyeball in my hand and i let go sprayed him in blood and then i put it back on and he's like so it's all right man it's just a little cut i was like stop me. i'm like i feel like i hold my eyeball in my hand and he was like all right it's a massive cut but like your eyes sweet and i was just all right cool <laughs> Let's go to the hospital. today and I'm trying to but I'm just like that's the end of my crying. I need to get eat something, get some energy, I think I don't know what's going on. show rehearsal going on right now. Final stage before the uh, crowd comes in. We just gotta run through, make sure our timing's all good. Um, our little segment, Cruzy's gonna hit the ramp again. All right, suited okay, and booted, let's go. <laughs> Cruz, I'll ride this back. Yeah. Let's just get, um, after this is done, let's just make sure you got your speed dialed in. Oh, these are things that happen. Unfortunately, you over jump a little deep. Hey, it happens to us all. Unfortunately, this is how you learn. Thank gosh for the airbags, though. This big, big bag jump made it safe. If you're not hurt, you'll be right. Did you kind of wash out? Did you get out of it all right? Yeah. <laughs> I between the show, they're waiting for the crowd to come in. We've done all that practice. Unfortunately, Cruzy had that big crash in last practice. We're gonna go again and uh, 
a little bit less pressure on him right now. I just want him to like roll in, follow me in, use his own kind of awareness and judgment to make his own judgments. He's not really feeling the best, but um, he's got this. So yeah, this is for sure a Madwell moment, you know, when you just need to dig deep, believe in yourself, overcome the fear. You know, nothing comes easy in life. So it's the moments like this where you dig deep and face adversity, use your mad will that'll set you free so these things happen I think just in the moment in the heat of the moment you know he's just doing his thing making me proud here I, I, it's bummed he's he's uh, got to face this fear because I know exactly what it's like but he's been bummed that he had the crash and everyone's inside they're telling him this is just how it goes so hopefully he'll get back on it stick this jump and then smile back on his dial and get this show done right Yeah, you bounce a little bit. A little bit of a bounce. And then I want to slow down then. Yeah. Let's just get yourself confident with how far you're going to go so you know what 100% is before the show. Once you jump it a little bit further, all this braking will be easier, yeah? Don't worry about this little crash. This, this shit happens. This stuff's Dad, hard to break. Dad on. crashed on this yesterday. <laughs> That makes me feel good. I was starting to get real nervous, like, I was gonna tell him, like, not even worry about it, but he just pulled it off. Yeah, it's, it's tough when you start seeing him, like, things go wrong and all that kind of stuff. And as a parent, I'm like, at some point it's not worth it, you know, but when he's able to, he actually wants to do this, he wants to be out there, and it's cool to see him gather his thoughts, get his confidence, and believe himself and go and stick it. It's a big deal for a little kid, that little bike, it's, it's, a, it's a decent jump. So it's like part of me gets used to it. Well done, man. Oh, Proud of you. That was huge, Chris. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. yeah. you can replicate that in the show. I figured out like how much wind is in my face when I hit it. That's a great way to judge it. You should be able to like judge it too by the, the sound of your bike, the gear that you're yeah, in, how fast you're coming. Just use all your senses. <laughs> Mum loves you. Yeah. That was huge, Chrissy. Let's I go have a rest. Confident now? Are you yeah. feel good? So good. That's a sort of a turn of events there. Stressful. Hopefully the rest of it's clear sailing and uh, get out of here in one piece. Hold on, Jake.
Cameron by Todd Rocco not to move. Come in, Rocco's gone. Like, we've got the whole security looking for Rocco. Me and Rob are running around the whole arena. Rocco Madison, five years old, gone. Like, missing. Yeah, finally, I'm like, maybe Chucky and Aaron come and got in. So I walk out and I look in the seats and he's sitting there. But after 10 minutes of like the whole stadium's looking for him, hey, dude, you can't just leave. <laughs> Rocco stole the show. Rocco stole the show for us, man. We came back in between and Rocco's gone. Amy left him in here on his iPad said don't move and we came back his iPad's there. Rocco's gone. We freaked out but they left a, a note in Amy's handbag that he went up with Chucky so we found him but man that was the no, worst we, experience ever. Because of the notes, we had to go through the whole entire crowd. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, this is what's left. <laughs> Didn't get that for the 10 minutes when every single person Uh, 